EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for April 3rd, 2024. It is Wednesday. The Wednesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Sylvestra Incorporated in Gwinnett Valley, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Sylvestra is your preferred contractor for paving, concrete, and site solutions. They have been happily serving Bucks and Montgomery counties for the past four generations. From residential driveways, patios, and walkways to commercial parking lots and roadways. If you have been considering upgrading your outdoor space, Sylvestra is second to none in decorative concrete design and solutions. Visit their website at sylvestra.com, that's S I L V E S T E R A, or call them for a free consultation at the phone number above me here in the video, 215 659 8757. Mention you saw this ad on the EPA WA video forecast to receive 10% off any residential service for the 2024 season. They are Sylvestra Incorporated, proud sponsors of the Wednesday video forecast. We got a lot to talk about today, and it's all with this very complex system here that is going to be uh, bringing some more. Uh, heavier rain to the region today. Uh, flood watches are up across the region. That's basically a two-day span. It's the same thing we did with our uh, weather alerts that we sent, uh, our text alerts. We sent a two-day total because it was just all part of the same parent system and it you know, really didn't have much of a break in between. You had some minor breaks here and there, enough to get the Phillies game in last night, actually. Uh, but they will be moving their game uh, later today. I don't think they moved it late enough, though, but we'll see. Uh, here is the uh, parent upper low, uh, parent low up in the Great Lakes that is going to occlude up in this area under the upper level low and weaken. And at the same time, there's a secondary that's forming right over northern Virginia and western Maryland. That is going to make its way along a warm front off in this direction like this, okay? Uh, it's going to strengthen as it does so and become the primary and take over. This upper level feature will uh, will move through here on Thursday, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but this is primarily what's going to be our rainmaker today. Might even be producing some severe weather in parts of our far southern areas in Delaware and southern Maryland. Uh, so here is what we have for the uh, warm front that I was talking about. You can see where it is. Warm front is going right across here like this. So uh, because of that, south of that line, there's quite a difference in temperature by a good 10 degrees, if not more, uh, from areas that are in the 40s to the north and areas that are in the 50s to the south. Might even touch 60 in southern Delaware today, which would be the area that would be prime for severe weather. And if we look at uh, the severe weather from uh, chances from the Storm Prediction Center, it looks something like this, okay? And it's just, there's the warm front right here. It's anywhere south of there in that warm sector. North of there, uh, you could have some rumbles of thunder, and that would be later in the day as the uh, system passes by, but uh, there is uh, a much lower chance for, there's no chance for severe weather north of the warm front. It would be south of there that would be occurring. So uh, along that warm front is where you would have that. And you can see clearly where the temperatures change uh, in that area. Okay, uh, because of that presence of that warm front, there's going to be an onshore flow and a very strong gradient force, uh, gradient, gradient, pressure gradient wind force coming in off the ocean. Uh, it's most notably going to be a targeting Monmouth County, New Jersey, where I can see some wind gusts getting over 50 miles per hour there and along the immediate coast to include Ocean County here in New Jersey uh, can get over 50 as well. But I think uh, most of the rest of us are looking at some wind gust peaking in the afternoon that will be 30 to 40, you might see some low 40s in a few places, but that would be the extent of it elsewhere. I think it's just right along, especially Monmouth County, but right along the coast right in here is where the worst uh, wind is going to be today. So if you saw the wind advisories up for those areas, that's what they were for. And there's even some high wind warnings across Monmouth County because they're expecting National, National Weather Service actually has 55 to 65. I think it's a little bit too high, but... Um, I never bet against wind right on the coast. It seems to overperform a lot of times. So because we have that pressure gradient wind coming in today, we're going to have this fetch coming off the ocean like this, and we're going to have it's an easterly wind. It's going to be a very strong easterly flow, and that's going to get up the eastern slopes of the Poconos as well. So we'll get into the, uh, you know, at least in the 30s there, if not 40 for a peak wind gust during the day today. Once we get this uh, to this evening, though, and it, this this and this passes, this goes away, low pressure is going to move off to the south and east, and that will be it for the wind as we move through the evening hours. Okay, so let's break this down on the NAM High Res Future Simulated Radar. Starting us off 8 o'clock in the morning. This is all rain here at this point. Um, 
alternating between showers and periods of rain throughout the day. Uh, and then we'll get a little bit of a lull as we get right on either side of noon. And then here comes the second batch. This is the heavier stuff. Uh, and this is what's going to conclude uh, this system once it pulls through. Area low pressure at this point is kind of uh, is rapidly developing right down here. And it's about to head off the coast. So uh, this is all following it. And there is some heavier rain associated with that as it does so there could even be some rumbles of thunder as this moves through and this would be in the afternoon uh this is five o'clock phillies uh started decided to move it from one to four uh don't think so don't think so uh but we'll see we might have to push it back a little bit further than that uh, but this line will move through and then uh once it does uh that will be it except for a few lingering showers that will be around the backside. might even end as a few snowflakes across Areas I-80 and north, snowflakes and snow falling and snow sticking are two different things, though. I think you have to get the higher elevations to get any kind of minor accumulations we're talking about. The Pocono Plateau, and that would be like a coating to an inch or maybe two in a few spots. But that's about it. Uh, anything for significant accumulations would be across uh, much farther to the north and east, especially across northern New England. Uh, you know, places across uh, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine are, gonna, are expecting 8 to 16 inches of snow, if not more, in some locations. So they're going to get a pretty good snowstorm out of this as this moves up to the north and east. And this is what it's going to do. I'll move this over to a precipitation type uh, image so you can see what it does. Moves off to the north and east. Here's that st that's, uh, secondary that's bombing out. The primary is now dissolved. It's just an upper level low in its wake. But you can see what's happening here in northern New England. They're getting smoked here. Okay, so they're going to get a quite, quite the snowstorm out of this. Um, but uh, we're going to have, in the wake of this, we're going to be okay overnight and, mo and into Thursday morning. Then we get the afternoon. Here's that upper level load. You can see it's spinning as I'm moving this. See that spinning, that counterclockwise spin? This is going to spawn. That upper level low is going to spawn some pop-up showers these are going to be um not lasting too long in any given location but this is kind of like uh, when you have lake effect that you have the, the you know the streamers moving through it's almost like that uh but these are rotating around the upper level low and if any of these even though it's showing rain here's a precipitation type because the upper levels are so cold and the surface is in the 40s for most areas uh, on Thursday, we're still going to have the opportunity to see some grapple mixed in or maybe even some snowflakes in a few spots. So it's not just going to be or even some sleet. So it could be a it's so cold in the upper levels and that difference in temperature uh, might make it uh, fall as a different precipitation type other than rain. So don't be surprised to see that here on Thursday afternoon and evening before that upper level low kicks out. And then I think once we get to Friday, we should be okay after that point. As far as snowfall, here's what we got. The highest peaks of the Pocono Plateau, maybe parts of north central PA as well. Uh, again, coating to an inch or maybe two in the highest peaks here, but the lower elevations are not going to get anything. You might see some snowflakes at the end, but snow again, snow falling and snow sticking are two different things. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with with that system. And I already covered here, there's the upper level low right here. And that's going to move through here on Thursday afternoon and give you those uh, pop-up showers that I talked about. I can move this back to regular now. Um, pop-up showers throughout the, the day here. And then we get to Friday. Uh, we are okay, backed up, but we are partly, to, or we are mostly cloudy and still breezy here on both Friday and Saturday. Uh, but with uh, mostly cloudy skies both of those days. And uh, we're not expecting precipitation largely. Can't roll out a stray shower in northern areas here on Friday, but uh, maybe even Saturday morning. But it uh, looks like, uh, for the most part, we're just mostly cloudy and breezy both days. And it will be chilly this entire time, all the way through Saturday. It's not until Sunday when we start to turn this around a little bit. Sunday, this uh, upper-level trough finally pulls away. You see the height line starting, the red height line starting to come toward the region. So we're going to get back to close to near-average temperatures. Maybe not quite, but close on Sunday with mostly sunny skies. And then here is Monday. You see this system here? We got to watch this because uh, for eclipse viewing on Monday, this is still overnight going in. It's going to fizzle. It's going to kind of fizzle out a little bit, it looks like, unless you're looking at the GFS where it does not fizzle out. Um, but we'll see what this does because it's, uh, it might uh, bring a little bit of cloud cover if you're traveling for the eclipse out in these areas right in here, including western uh, Erie and uh, western New York and, and parts of Ohio. That's awfully close, okay? I still think our area will be at least partly cloudy and uh, not affected by that, even though we're not going to be in totality here. Uh, and, of course, uh, the conditions have improved down here for the areas in, uh, you know, people, anybody going toward... Uh, you know, Texas or Arkansas, 
Missouri, those areas straight up through here should be okay. It's when you get up here in the Ohio Valley and maybe western Pennsylvania, you might have an issue with some clouds. So we'll see. Uh, keep your fingers crossed if you're traveling out in that area. Uh, we're going to continue to update that throughout the rest of this week just to see where it goes. But uh, right now, GFS is uh, hanging this back enough. This is 2, this is, uh, 2 p.m. on on, uh, uh, on Monday. So right now, uh, Ohio Valley is going to have a little bit of trouble, I think. If you're in the Ohio Valley or planning to go there, unfortunately, that's where the trouble spot is. Uh, further north in New England's okay. Further southwest of that, Arkansas. Uh, and down to through Texas is okay. Our area should be okay as well locally, but again, we're not going to be in the totality. So for the areas traveling, just watch out for the Ohio Valley. This will continue to watch here over the next several days. But uh, the big story here for us, of course, is all this rain coming in today, and uh, that will start to break down by, by the time we get to this evening and finally start to pull away. Got a little bit of residual showers coming in just before midnight. It'll end as snow, but that'll be about it at that point. Most of it will be done by the time we get around dinner time or so. So uh, maybe just after that. So we'll continue to follow that today and uh, just make sure you are uh, aware of any flooding situations that are out there. We are on our flood watch. Uh, those are going to quickly to go to flood warnings at a moment's notice with some heavier rain coming in, especially when we get to this period right here during the afternoon when this comes moves through here. And uh, make sure it uh, make sure you understand it's going to be very windy today, especially in those areas that I mentioned, those highlighted areas, which is pretty much the eastern part of far eastern Pennsylvania and much of the northern two-thirds of New Jersey, especially coastal Monmouth and Ocean Counties in New Jersey. I'm EPA, WA meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That's your outlook for... April 3rd, 2024. Have a great Wednesday.